Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn how to use on a diet. What verbs do you use? To be, to go. How do you say when you stop a diet? We're going to learn all this today. And as always, we're going to learn real life American English. And we're going to work on accent reduction. So let's get started. First, on a diet, we use different verbs. For example, be or go. To be on a diet. I am on a diet, you are on a diet, she is on a diet. And what about go? Go is to express a process to start a diet. You go on a diet. Go in the present, in the past, went. He went on a diet. Example, the verb to be. She is on a diet. She's on a diet. And the verb go, in the past, went. She went on a diet because she's having surgery next week. Let's practice. Is she on a diet? That's right. She's on a diet. And why did she go on a diet? That's right. She went on a diet because she's having surgery next week. Let's look at another example. He is not on a diet. But maybe he should. Maybe he should go on a diet. Remember, go is the process to start a diet. Let's practice. Is he on a diet? That's right. Should he go on a diet? That's right. He should go on a diet. Or you can use the verb put. Put, example, the doctor put me on a diet. Or maybe your coach. Maybe you play sports and your coach put you on a diet. We see after put, we have the person. Put me on a diet. Put you on a diet. Example, the doctor, his doctor, his doctor put him on a diet. Pronunciation, put him, put him. His doctor put him on a diet. We see the H is silent and the T sounds like a fast D because it's between vowels phonetically. Put him, put him. His doctor put him on a diet. Let's practice. What happened? Did his doctor put him on a diet? That's right. His doctor put him on a diet. And did he lose a lot of weight? That's right. He lost a lot of weight. Another example. Her doctor put her on a diet. Again, the T is a fast D because it's between vowels. It's between vowels because the H is silent. The H is silent because it's not an important word. It's not a stressed word. So put her. You can say put her and make the T a stop T, put her, or you can make the T a fast D, put her, put her. Her doctor put her on a diet. Her doctor put her on a diet because she's having surgery next week. Let's practice. Did her doctor put her on a diet? That's right. Her doctor put her on a diet. Why did her doctor put her on a diet? That's right. Her doctor put her on a diet because she's having surgery next week. Let's see another example. So we see the verbs to be or to go on a diet. But what if you want to stop your diet? We don't say stop your diet. We say go off your diet. So we see the similarity. Go on a diet and go off your diet. What's the difference? When you say go on a diet, you use the article a. Uh, go on a diet. But when you say go off, we don't say go off a diet. We say go off your diet. We use a possessive your. Go off your diet. Go off my diet. Go off his diet or go off her diet. And what if I don't go off my diet? What if I don't stop? What if I continue? We don't say continue your diet. We say stay on. Stay on your diet. And again, we use possessive, not stay on a diet. We say stay on your diet. Stay on my diet. Stay on his diet. It means to continue. So let's practice with some examples. All right, I'm in the way. Let's move me. Here we go. All right, that's better. All right, so he went on a diet, but he didn't go off his diet. He stayed. He stayed on his diet, and he lost a lot of weight. Let's look at the pronunciation. The T in went is after an N, so you have N-T. 
and it's between vowels. We see a vowel here and a vowel here, so the NT is between vowels. In this case, the T is like a silent T. You can make a stop T and make the position of the T. He went on a diet. Or some people don't pronounce the T at all, and you just hear went, went on, went on. The tongue goes up a little, but you don't really hear anything. He went on a diet. And the T in diet is at the end of the word after a vowel. It's a stop T. Don't say diet. T. Don't release a T. Diet. He went on a diet. And he didn't go off his diet. He stayed. He stayed on his diet. We see the D is before a vowel. So link the sounds. Stayed on. Stayed on. Link the D and the on to link your words. Dawn. Stayed on. Stayed on. He stayed on his diet. And the word his is not a stressed word. So the H is silent. So you hear is. On is. On is. He stayed on his diet. And he lost a lot of weight. So again, he went on a diet. He stayed on his diet. And he lost a lot of weight. Let's practice. Did he go on a diet? That's right. He went on a diet. And did he go off his diet or did he stay on his diet? That's right. He stayed on his diet. And did he lose a lot of weight? That's right. He lost a lot of weight. Another example. She. She went on a diet too. And she didn't go off her diet. She stayed on her diet. Look at the pronunciation. The same thing. We have T and T between vowels. So pronunciation, she went on, went on a diet. And the T in diet is a stop T. Not diet, but diet. She went on a diet. And she didn't go off her diet. She stayed, stayed on. Link the sounds, dawn, dawn. She stayed on her diet. Again, with her, the H is silent because the word her is not a stressed word. So you hear honor, honor, honor diet. She stayed on her diet. She went on a diet. She didn't go off her diet. She stayed on her diet. Let's practice. Did she go on a diet? That's right. She went on a diet. And did she go off her diet or did she stay on her diet? That's right. She stayed on her diet. Another example. He didn't stay on his diet. He went off his diet. So that means he started a diet, but then he quit. He stopped. So we say he didn't stay on his diet. He went off his diet. We see the action go in the past, went. He went off his diet. He started eating junk food again. Pronunciation. He didn't. We see with didn't, the T is between consonants. So we don't really hear the T. He didn't. It's really a stop T. You put the tongue up a little bit. Didn't stay. Didn't stay. Now let's look at this DN. You can say didn't, didn't, but it's better to make the D sound, a stop D, did, mm, and then fall to the N like this. Didn't, didn't, didn't. You hear that little stop T at the end. Didn't. I just stopped there with my tongue after the N. Didn't. He didn't stay on his diet. We see his. The H is silent because his is not a stressed word. Link the sounds. On is, on is, on his diet. He didn't stay on his diet. He went off his diet. Again, NT. The T is a stop T. You don't really hear it. He went off. He went off. He went off his diet. And with the word his, the H is silent because his is not a stressed word. Link the sounds. Off his, off his, off his diet. He went off his diet. Together, he didn't stay on his diet. He went off his diet. He started eating junk food again. Let's practice. Did he stay on his diet? That's right. He didn't stay on his diet. Did he go off his diet? That's right. He went off his diet. Did he start eating junk food again? That's right. He started eating junk food again.
And this lady, what happened? She started her diet. She went on a diet and she didn't go off her diet. She is still on her diet. She stayed on her diet. Let's look at pronunciation. She didn't go off her diet. We see we didn't, didn't, make the stop D fall to the N, didn't, didn't. And the T at the end is a stop T, didn't, didn't, didn't. She didn't go off her diet, go off. We have two vowels here. When you link them, you hear the W sound, wah, wah, like this, go off, go off. She didn't go off her diet. The word her, the H is silent because her is not a stressed word. Silent H. Let's link the sounds. Offer, offer, offer diet. She didn't go off her diet. She stayed on her diet. She stayed on her diet. The D in stayed linked to the next word. On, stayed on, dawn. She stayed on her diet. We see with her, the H is silent. So we have the sound er, honor. Honor. Let's link the words. Honor diet. Everything together. She stayed on her diet. She stayed on her diet. She didn't go off her diet. She stayed on her diet. Is she happy on her diet? No, she's not happy on her diet. But she didn't go off her diet. She stayed on her diet. Let's practice. Did she go off her diet? That's right. She didn't go off her diet. Did she stay on her diet? That's right. She stayed on her diet. So remember, when you use on a diet, we have different verbs. Different verbs like be, stay, go, and put. But they're all different. Remember, be is the condition. I am on a diet. He is on a diet. Let's practice. Are you on a diet? Very good. And stay. Stay is to remain, continue. We say stay on your diet. Remember, use possessive. Not stay on a diet, but stay on your diet. Stay on my diet. And go is the process to start a diet. I need to go on a diet. And we use a, uh, the article a, uh, when you use go. Go on a diet. But what if you go off? If you stop? If you go off, use possessive. Go off my diet. Go off your diet. Not go off a diet, but possessive. He went off his diet. Go in the present, went in the past. He went off his diet. Use possession. And put. Put is the action. For example, the doctor. The doctor put me on a diet. Use a, uh, the article a, uh, for one. The doctor put me on a diet. Or the coach. The coach put me on a diet. So remember, we have all these different verbs when you use the expression on a diet. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.